morning. So it's like 740 something right now. And so the sun's just now peeping out through the clouds and my daughter's still sleeping, which it, it, mornings are hit and miss. Sometimes she sleeps in a little bit more, sometimes she doesn't, but she's still sleeping. So just having a quiet moment down here with some coffee. It is a true blue snow day, you guys. It is thicker than it has been in a very long time. Like I feel like this is what I remember winter being like as a kid here where I live. But in years, I feel like as an adult, we haven't had snow quite like this. So it's just fun. And we're all in the house, no one's leaving or anything today. So it's just cozy staying in together. So I figured I'd vlog that and share it with you guys just cause I wanted to. <laughs> a portion of this video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. I have a favorite snack to share with you guys that I cannot stop eating and neither can my husband. And I just have to talk about it, okay? Pinocchio was out in the snow and usually when I let him out and it's this cold, he'll be done, do his business, come back in in like a minute. But this time he'd been out for a few minutes so I'm looking and I hear him going, and I can't see him. I'm like looking through all our windows. I'm like, oh, I gotta go get my boots and like go rescue him from some unknown, unseen terror for him. I don't know. And uh, I still don't know what it was he was crying, but finally, of course, I said, come on, get a treat. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so today as we're staying in and cozy and warm, I have some chores. Do you call them chores if you're the adult in the house? I don't know. Uh, like dishes, laundry, things like that I need to get done today. But also, of course, fun stuff. I'm gonna play with my daughter and my puppy and my husband and stuff. Maybe go out in the snow and play. I think that'd be fun it's gonna be a temperature gauge kind of thing like how cold is it because right now it is like frigid so we'll see how the day turns out I thought this would be fun to share I hope you guys enjoy it too and let's dive straight into this uh, snow day shall we so first rule of snow days is to light a candle and we will do this to the tune of Pinocchio eating his breakfast <laughs> This smell, by the way, is Yankee Candle Juicy Citrus and Sea Salt. Not technically a winter smell, but you know what? Even though I'm enjoying the winter day today, most of winter is just gray and no snow and it's super depressing. This makes me excited for spring, so this smell is incredible. I changed our little letter board over here, which by the way was a housewarming gift we got a few years ago from my brother and sister-in-law and it's so cute but my daughter helped me of course come up with this wink wink from frozen but it seems very uh, appropriate today <laughs> so i was gonna get ready really fast before she wakes up because now it's about 8 30 and i'm like taking time mom she'll be up any minute so i did something that some of you guys recommended i feel like i probably tried once before but it was so many years ago where you put dry shampoo in your hair the night before and so I knew I was gonna have second day hair today and that I would put dry shampoo in it inevitably. So I put it in last night. And the only thing that bothered me is that with dry shampoo, there's always a smell. So you're like smelling that all night. But that aside, it worked really well. Like I didn't even have to really rub it in today. I'm kind of finishing up, but like the white cast went away. It soaked up all the oils. So now I feel like I could kind of brush through my hair and restyle it, which is what I'm gonna try to do this morning. So it's kind of nice to know that that also works. But the only thing is I have to remember to do it <laughs> the night before, that will be the hardest thing. So I'm gonna get ready really fast and get my day popping. By the way, I've had a lot of people ask to see the Super Goop Glow, I cannot say that, Super Goop Glow Screen SPF. I love it as a glowy SPF. I wanted to show you it with nothing on, cause usually, you know, once I've done this, I'm gonna be putting makeup on next so you don't see it as much. It definitely is glowy and I think it can be, like if you were just wearing this and no makeup, it might be a little too glowy, like a little bit too Tin Man, but I just love it because you actually see that glow underneath makeup. So for that purpose, I really, really like it. It doesn't pill up or do anything weird. I am a fan, it is pricey though. One that's similar and not as glowy, I recommend all of the time. It's available on Amazon called the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. I know a lot of you guys tried it and fell in love with it too, and that's like around 10-ish dollars, it fluctuates, but that is similar, less glowy, and way cheaper. So just something to keep in mind. But I, I am a fan of this, and I could see myself buying this again in the future when I actually need SPF. I have so many to go through right now though. Also, I have to say this L'Oreal H Perfect Radiant Serum, still like my favorite foundation to wear every day. It is so pretty, I can't shut up about it. I'm almost gone. I have the shade Rose Ivory 15, perfect shade match. I was looking on Ulta the other day though, and I don't think they sell this shade. Like I don't think they sell all of the shades. So I, I'm assuming I must have bought this in person, but regardless, it is so pretty if you like that glowy, healthy skin look, but it still has like medium coverage. <sighs> I got a bad. Ah. 
she asked to wear her Aurora dress and it's all, I washed it and it looks crazy. So one of my favorite quick healthier breakfast is to get a little bit of diced ham and warm it in a pan and then put some eggs in it to kind of make a makeshift egg scramble. I guess it's not makeshift, it's just an egg scramble. I can either make toast with it or I can put it on like a low carb wrap and it's so, so good. So I'm gonna make some right now. But you can find like diced ready-made deli ham like this, just like in the deli section of any store. So my mom used to make, and I wonder if anyone else's parents are maybe, oh, why did I leave that on so much? So my mom used to make what she called Pac-Man bologna, which was basically just taking slices of bologna, cutting like one incision, the radius of the uh, ham, or the bologna, I should say, and you just fry it up, right? It's fried bologna, but you gotta cut the little uh, radius of it. Why do I keep saying that? I'm such a nerd. Because when you fry bologna, if you've ever done it, it like pops a lot, and that just kind of helps so that it doesn't just explode. Uh, it was so yummy, and I have not made that in so, so long, but my mom reminded me of that the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about Pac-Man bologna. But you could, of course, add cheese on it too, but if you want it to be a little healthier, of course, you don't have to. And really, with the ham, it adds so much flavor. I never really miss the cheese. Yum, so it is done. That took me like three minutes. Got breakfast for all of us. I just kind of cleaned some grapes and have our little wraps here, and then she is not a fan of eggs. I keep trying, and so I'm like, well, maybe with the ham, she'll like it, because I know she likes ham, so. We shall see, but. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I was feeling snacky, so I grabbed one of my favorite snacks. I told you guys I was gonna share what that is, and it's a healthy snack too, which is, so as I mentioned earlier, this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. First of all, if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it is an online membership-based marketplace where you can get all of your organic, keto, paleo, non-GMO, gluten-free, whatever kind of diet you're looking for, you will find it all on Thrive Market and you will save so much money in the process. I know one of my recent orders from Thrive Market, I think I saved something like $70 off the retail price of what these items would have cost just in a regular store. So I really appreciate that you get members-only prices and you save so much money. So through Thrive Market, I discovered my favorite, favorite healthier snack, and that would be Chomp's beef sticks and turkey sticks and their jalapeno beef sticks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is what they look like. This is the original thing that I fell in love with. These are the Chomp's original beef sticks. These are a high quality beef stick. This has grass fed and finished beef. I also love their original turkey sticks. These are made with free range turkey, which I love. And then I also grabbed the jalapeno ones because my husband loves these. Chomps are definitely one of my go-to snacks. And my husband and I have really set a goal this year to work out as many days a week as possible. And this has become one of our go-to post-workout snacks because it's packed with protein. It's a cleaner beef stick, which I really appreciate. Listen, we were out of these and I was so relieved when this order came in because because we missed them. They are paleo and keto certified. They're Whole30 approved. They're free of the eight major allergens. So they're just a really great snack. And on top of it all, they're so darn tasty, you guys. Ah, they're so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm eyeing my like half stick I've got left here. <laughs> Another thing I appreciate about ordering Chomps from Thrive Market is that orders over $49 ship free and they're delivered with carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse, which I think is so cool. Another thing that is so cute, they also make Chomps Chomplings, which are smaller size beef sticks. They're individually wrapped so you can throw them in your kid's lunchbox. They're just a really quick and easy and really delicious snack. Also, can we talk about how cute the name Chomplings is? So Thrive Market does offer two different membership Models. They offer a one month membership, which is $9.95 a month, and they offer an annual 12 month membership, which breaks down to $5 a month. That's the one we went with because you know what? We have saved so much money in the past year that it's been well worth it. The best part is, is that if you join Thrive Market today, you will get 25% off your first order and you get to choose a free gift. And guess what? One of the free gifts this month is a box of chomps, which is an incredible free gift. So this would be a great time to join if you've been thinking about it, and especially if you've been wanting to try chomps. This is a great way to do it. So if you are wanting to try it out, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash chomps. You'll get 25% off your first order. You can choose a free gift, which again, you can choose the chomps for that if you are interested. I will have my link and all of the information down in the description box for you. Thank you again so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this portion of the video. I told my husband we ordered more chomps and he was like weirdly pumped. <laughs>
All right, ignoring all my mess everywhere. This top I got from Madewell, like from a Nordstrom trunk club, and I love it. It's like a sweater, but it's kind of boxy, but I feel like that makes it even cuter when you just tuck in a little bit in the front. And then these jeans are from that lovely store near me called Meyer. They're just like a little bit looser and they're like stretchy. If you have a Meyer, it's the brand Vanilla Star. I can never find things from there to link online. But anyway, love them. They're just super comfy. And then I've just got like little Bomba slippers on. And then this I got on Amazon quite a while ago. So something fun I remember doing when I was younger was getting snow inside the house because like I said, we're waiting for it to warm up just a little bit before we go outside. So I'm gonna fill these totes I just bought on Clarence recently with snow and then I just grabbed some things we have in the kitchen, some like cups and some measuring spoons she can kind of play with. So you got some of these and I might find some more stuff now. <laughs> No. Yeah. Yeah, you can play. <laughs> you can play with spoons like this. That is fun. Fun. I can do it. You can do it. No. Oh, that's a cool one. These are these like paint marker tempura something uh they are awesome because they like write so smoothly and then this is one of her little easel christmas gift things she got this year oh be careful it's a little messy pretend to be mommy <laughs> she was just saying this was sitting down on the floor like not on and she saw it and said hi everybody and then she said mommy i'm talking to this <laughs> We're looking for daddy. We're playing hide and seek. Where is he? <laughs> you found me. There he is. So just laid her down for a nap. So I just need to get little bits and bobs done here. And I'm trying to be better on days like this to do something I also enjoy. So I might sit down and work on doing some calligraphy. <laughs> I'm laughing because it is so much harder than I thought. <laughs> so hard you guys i will show you in a sec what i use like what book i use and what pens i bought them both on amazon um but it's hard but it's fun so it's one of those good challenges for me but i'm trying to be better on days like this like a snow day to allow myself to do something i enjoy like a hobby and not feel like i need to fill the entire day any moment i get with getting stuff done you know i've already gotten a decent amount done today so i need to take that pressure off myself and you know she's laying down right now i could actually do something myself. I could read a book, I could do the calligraphy, whatever it is I wanna do. And I just reheated my coffee for like the third time. <laughs> also though, I got a new mirror recently. It's from Ikea and I needed one that was a little more conducive to doing like shots of my outfit or whatever it is. And I'm wanting to film a uh, Target try on haul with some stuff I recently bought. And I have that one in my bathroom I used earlier today, right, to show you my outfit. But that one, I always have to move like 10 different things just to do it because our trash can sits there and so many other things. So it's just easier to have one unobscured in my room. I don't really know where I'm going to put it, though. This is kind of in the way of like my closet door and stuff. So we'll see where I actually end up placing it. I thought about putting it there, but the problem is I film typically from this angle facing that way. So it'd be... A little bit in the way so we'll, we'll see we'll see where it ends up the good news is it's not crazy heavy so it's easy to move and it actually came with this thing that goes on top this right here but honestly i kind of liked the way it looked without it and it's got this little bit here so i can move it around the room it doesn't have to like lean against anything so yeah i'm really digging it all right so i'm sitting here this is my calligraphy book i bought on amazon and i did not realize <laughs> that A, it was so hard, like I was saying, but I do appreciate that this one kind of breaks down the different kinds of pens and markers and stuff you could use, the different types of calligraphy there are. I genuinely did not know there were more than one. All I've gotten to do so far is like practicing the strokes. It really, <laughs> it's kind of like when you're in kindergarten, you know, in first grade and you're practicing your handwriting over and over again. 
it's the same thing because of course that's how you learn um, and it's just muscle memory. Some of you guys when I posted about this on Instagram said that you could get tracing paper and put it on top of this to continue practicing more because this is not nearly enough practice for each letter like not even close. But of course you do practice writing some words and stuff but it's just one of those things that I know is going to take a lot of time to feel comfortable to like do calligraphy freehand on my own you know what I mean now I did I tried a couple of things I already own and I finally broke down and bought these on Amazon they were recommended I think both in this book and like everywhere I looked at online um, and this one has 10 colors so I will link these exact ones and what's cool about this is it's the kind of marker that like you can press down and it'll be a little bit thicker and then you can lift up a bit and it'll be thinner. And I really couldn't get that with any of the markers and pens I already own. Another thing is you can find, like you can just print online. People have PDFs of calligraphy practice pages. So you don't have to buy the book, but if you're gonna buy something, I would say at least buy the markers so you can really practice that. Uh, the thicker and thinner portion of it because like I said I really could not successfully do it with anything I previously owned and I own a lot of pens and markers from my teaching days trust me <laughs> Yeah, and really you could even print out like as many as you want of these practice pages like front to back and put them in a binder and make your own little calligraphy workbook you don't have to buy this I have loved doing this so far like I said I'm so new to it but I wanted to spend a little time just practicing these a little bit because like I said, it's something I enjoy and I need to make sure I'm spending my own time doing some things that I personally enjoy as well. All right, so I've got a bunch of towels and just miscellaneous things. I feel like every few weeks I need to do a load of that. So I'm going to fold those and <laughs> I was trying to make the bed finally. And this is as far as I got because this sweet cozy boy wouldn't get up and I can't even blame him because he's like, oh, I got to step in a cold snow every time I got to go potty. You got to warm yourself up and defrost every time you come in, huh? We're all bundled up to go play in the snow. Gigi helped me tie my boots here. <laughs> Daddy's gonna She's go a big too. Help. Big helper. You ready, Gigi? I'm ready. Do you want to build a snowman? No, I need to, I want to walk in the snow. <laughs> you want to walk in the snow. Let's walk in the snow. Oh my goodness. This is so fun. <laughs> Panok, you wanna run? Let's run, 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 run. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's hard to run in all this snow, huh? <laughs> Mommy's gonna make a snow angel. Are you ready? Okay. Do you wanna watch mommy do it? Okay. I haven't done this since I was a kid, man. I'm excited. Walk Get a nice fresh tuck, patch let there. Tuck, let me tuck my hair in. <laughs> okay, you can do it. Are you ready? Okay, you can do it. Snow Angel! See? <laughs> Gigi's like, wow. What do you think? Does it look good, Tyler? Mm -hmm. Looks super solid. <laughs> oh, and Pinocchio is your halo. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Daddy's gonna do it. Really fun for Daddy. Shake him, baby, just shake. Oh, it's I okay. Just, I can already feel the snow <laughs> going down my back. All right, Daddy's gonna do it. Here we go. Watch Daddy do a snow angel. Wow! Very angelic. What do you think? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch! <laughs> Where did the water go? Where did the water go? It's all frozen and there's snow on top. Okay, it was cold. We have this little girl is trying hot chocolate for the very first time ever. Gigi, do you like the hot cocoa? Yeah. Is it yummy? Tyler asked Gigi while we were out there who made the snow, and she, Gigi, who made the snow? A snowman. Oh, a snowman made it. Well, earlier she said Elsa made it, and that was pretty funny. I think Tyler's gonna get a fire started, which sounds so awesome. So I think we might make a little bit of popcorn and watch a Disney movie, because the sun is starting to set, so it's kind of a nice time to 
unwind and just relax. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, I hope that you'll subscribe. I do upload three times a week. I do beauty videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs like this, etc. I'd love to have you join our little family here. And thank you again, Thrive Market, for sponsoring a portion of this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.